That carnival belongs to my friend, Professor Coriolis. And that's his carousel. Oh, Professor. On the move, please. I am at your service. Two tickets, no? No tickets, not today. Uh, tomorrow, maybe. Well, maybe. What we're interested in right now, Professor, would you explain to us why wind blows east and west as well as north and south? Uh-huh, with pleasure. To show this, I must use the carousel. Attention! Now you must get on the carousel with the children. Now I give one child a ball. So. Easy, no? But see what happens when I start the carousel. Pierre. Now. But the ball curved. <laughs> Natural ball. Now, let us watch the same action once more. Only this time, we slow everything down. <whistles> Missed again. <laughs> you see? It did curve. Aha! You think so? Come, we find out. But this time, we must get off the happy-go-round. Now, we observe the exact same throw once more. Pierre! Whoop! It never curved at all, did it? I don't believe it. What happens is I show you very, very slow. The catcher is moving with the carousel. So the ball missed him. But remember, when you were on the carousel, it looked like this. Ah, I begin to see. When you're on the carousel, it seems to curve. When you're off it, it doesn't. That's right, that's right. And now I take you to the biggest carousel of all, the spinning earth. If we take the part north of the equator and tilt it a little, we have a carousel which turns counterclockwise to the left. So for you, on this carousel, like the little boy on the happy go round everything curves to the right in the northern hemisphere. You do not believe me? Eh bien, suppose, please, that I am on the North Pole. I am lonely, and I wish very much to see in New York my friend, Fifi. Coming, Fifi! Ah, no! As the professor found out, to someone on Earth unaware of its motion, the rocket will curve to the right. But to someone out in space who can tell the Earth is rotating, this is what it looks like. The rocket goes straight, but the Earth is spinning. But since we're not in space, for us in the Northern Hemisphere, there's this curve to the right for anything that moves. Gunners must adjust for this apparent curve, Transatlantic planes would get lost if their navigators didn't correct for the effect. Even migrating birds have some mysterious built-in mechanism which corrects for it. And so you see... Pardon, messieurs! You have overlooked the best example of the drift to the right. The wind! This whole affair is called the Coriolis effect. Merci bien. I trust I have made all this quite clear. Au revoir, mes amis. <laughs> well, uh, if it isn't quite clear, let's examine our wind loop again. See what happens when the Earth begins to make like the professor's happy-go-round. The big loop becomes three smaller loops. Now, so we can look at them, uh, I bring the carousel to a stop, just like the professor. This loop by the equator is just a smaller version of our original one. But the southbound air close to the ground, swung to its right by Coriolis, begins to blow from the east. 
Isn't that about it, Doc? Yes, that's right. Creating the trade winds. The trade winds that sailors used for centuries to circle the globe. Now, loop number two. Here, the air near the ground moves north because... Um, Doc, maybe you better take over, huh? Well, this reverse loop hasn't been completely explained, but it's easy to see that lateral friction due to large-scale turbulence, the transport of angular momentum, conservation of potential vorticity, as well as baroclinicity in the frontal zone. Doc, let's, uh, let's just say the loop is there, huh? Uh, and that the northbound air near the ground is swung to its right and begins to blow from the west. Creating the prevailing westerlies. And finally, the cold sinking air in the third loop, equator bound, is swung to its right to become the polar easterlies. There you have it, folks, from the Coriolis Marigaron to the general circulation of the atmosphere. And this is actually how wind is made? Well, yes. In general, wind is created by the sun and given direction by the Coriolis effect. <laughs>